getting ready to take the seats out of my 1978 Corvette and I'm going to take them down to the frame and reupholster them and so I'll show you what they look like right now you see that's pretty bad all right and I've been doing some work on it and while I got the seats out I'm gonna put new carpet in these seats are pretty bad so let's get to it so I've got the seat moved all the way forward and there's one and there's two so I'm gonna work on those and then I move the seat all the way back there's three okay and so there is number four all right so I'm gonna take those out right now and we're gonna my God, look how bad that is over there. Wow, okay, anyway, we're interested in making them look nice, okay. Okay, to get these off, I'm first gonna hit them with my breaker bar and bust them loose. That's what I'm doing right now. All right. Yeah, I don't know if my ratchet would have done that or not. I think I'll hit with the breaker bar first. Okay, probably one more hi-yah with the breaker bar. Okay, I feel like my ratchet can probably get it now. And once again, the other side, the other bolt. And with my breaker bar, there it goes. Okay. I think now you're not familiar with the breaker bar so you don't have to bust your ratchets um, highly recommend it got to have it for automotive projects okay so the back two are busted loose let's get them out of there all right so now I'm just gonna hit him with my ratchet and once I get the seats out of here, I'll put the camera on a stand so it won't be so shaky. But uh, basically, now I'm just getting these out with my with my ratchet. Okay, so now I have the two back bolts out. I'm going to take this seat and uh, oops, move it all the way back so I can get to these. All right, and there's the two back ones. It's the breaker bar I used, and I switched over to the ratchet. Okay, so there's the front. There it is, and I'm going to be using my big breaker bar again. Get that loose. There. So much easier with the breaker bar. I'll let the ratchet take over and uh, I'm trying to make this a quick video so I'm just going to ratchet these front two out. Taking this seat out now that it's loose. So let's get it out of here. All right. Okay. So now that the seat's out, my God, look at all that money. <laughs> Good Lord. That's hilarious what you find. So just real quick, while the seat's out, and I got this, if anybody's curious to see the wiring, there's the clip that holds the carpet in. There was one, there's two, and there's three that hold the side console on that's what it looks like underneath there um, my wife actually gave me the idea to film this in case anybody wants to see what all is under there okay seeing that's where I was at okay so I got seat up here on my workbench and the next thing I need to do is basically I'm gonna like think of this as two projects Redoing this and redoing this. So we're going to separate the two. 
right now. And I'm going to start by, oh, let's see. I'll start by removing this. All right. Let's see what size this is. Three-eighths. And just as a little tip, I always keep little containers like this handy for projects just like this. Wow, it's a little tighter than I thought. There it goes. All right, get this other one out of here. Okay, so there's, there's that. Now that is set free. And uh, now I'm going to take these out. And to take those out, I actually got a flat-headed screwdriver, even though it's Phillips, but I, had, I found a flathead that fits in there better. Okay, so I have the two parts of the seat separated, and I want to point out there is a plastic washer that kind of works as a bearing, I guess. You know what I mean? As a kind of a so that's in there. So don't want to lose that. Okay, so on the back of the seat, I'm going to take these screws out. get this plastic piece off here okay this should oh it's got to come off with that too okay so honestly I'm not quite sure why this plastic piece isn't breaking free Oh, because I'm an idiot. Okay, it's supposed to. I was trying to slide it down. It actually slides up here. Let me show. So you see that bracket right there like that? And then that fits like this. I thought it was the opposite way. I was, hell, I was pulling down on it and wondering why it wouldn't go. It goes up and then, so it goes like this and then like that. Okay, that makes sense. Hopefully that my splatter ass moment helps you okay so now we'll take this off Oops. I think I'm using too big a screwdriver I don't want to strip that hang on that's, that's better I'm sorry to show the back of my hand but I started off with too big of a screwdriver and I don't want to strip that screw there we go. Sorry to show the back of my hand again, but there it goes. Okay, now that those two screws are out, this can all come apart. All right, there we go. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is there's hog rings. Okay, that's holding this onto the frame. And so I'm doing it the splatter ass way where I'm just putting a flathead screwdriver underneath there, stretched them and pulled them off. They do make a hog ring puller that's special for hog rings, but uh, I'm just going around and getting all those out and then we'll take a look. Okay, so now I have all the uh, hog rings off okay but I need to get these uh, things here that this is supposed to be a rubber stopper you see mine's pretty worn but that's good because if I take it off I can show you 
This is to Phillips, and that's where the seat would rest on top of this, where the back would hit that. That was kind of its stopping position. Okay, so those just come out. It's a Phillips head. Okay, so it turns out that screw is really long. That's uh, pretty crazy. So for my own reference, when I put it back together, it was out just under half an inch. It's about 12 millimeters if you prefer, or just shy of half an inch as you see right there. Okay, so let's get those uh, guys out of there. Okay. Next, I'm going to loosen this up because it does have a hold of the fabric. So I can't get this, uh, or I'm sorry, this vinyl, half vinyl, or mostly leather, some vinyl seat cover. Because it's, uh, this thing has a hold of it. So I'm going to take these two bolts out from the back of the seat here. Okay. Okay. So now I'm able to free that up and get this part of the seat cover off. As you can see, my seat cover was pretty, pretty bad, pretty worn. I might need a new foam too, I don't know. Step one, let's uh, get all this all apart and then we'll see. And up here at the top, this is where that plastic piece latched on to. So I'm just going to slide that up, free that. Okay, same thing here. Just going to slide that up. There we go. Is that freed up a little bit? Okay, so before I can get the old cover off, I do have to remove the rest of this mechanism, which is held together here and there, and I'll get the slash mechanism out of there. Okay, got those four bolts removed. Now for these two, just as a side note, I'm going to have to use a deeper socket because uh, the screw part is so long. So uh, let me hit that with a deeper socket and we'll uh, get that out of there. Okay, it's a 7 16th and I had to get out some of my bigger sockets uh, just because of uh, the depth. The camera can't pick it up, but that screw sticks out a long way and that... Uh, other little socket just wasn't hitting it so sorry there so all right so let's get that mechanism out of here all right so i've got everything loose and i'm just going to go ahead and take that out okay let's put that there so you can see there's that mechanism and it's free now. I keep banging these silly things. Um, so I'm going to, I'm just going to right there, I'm going to take these two uh, seat brackets off so that I can maneuver this around a little bit. So let me get those right there. Let me get those off. Okay, so I just wanted to note <laughs> with this screw that's holding this in. Not too often I have to use this tool, but I had to get out where you put the tip on here, and then basically it's got a big long cheater bar. That was how I had to, just in case you're not familiar with this tool, because it's helped me a few times in the gym. I've got like this, okay, and then I've got this big cheater bar. I've already broke it loose, but that's what I did. I just wanted to note that for the audience, because just torquing on a screwdriver like this uh, ain't gonna do it. Need something like that. And also, just one more, whoops, sorry about that. There's that one, and then there's one more right there. And uh, it's in there nice and taut. I'm gonna have to use this, uh, I call it a cheater bar thing. Uh, again, huh. Okay, so if you're not familiar with this tool, I'll show you how it works just real quick. Instead of trying to wrench around out with a screwdriver, just come out here. There. Okay. Now, 
one can use a screwdriver to take the rest of the way out. All right. Uh, so actually, to my surprise, there's actually three. I was expecting two. There's a third one right there. Uh, same process. Got to use that tool again. Um, so, okay. There's actually three holding that in. <laughs> okay, so there's a good look. What looks like. This is the part that's exposed. And the little plastic washer goes in there. And it connects to this bottom part of the seat. I want to show the audience because I thought, that, I don't know why, but I thought it was only two. But to my surprise, there's a third. So there's what that piece looks like. And if yours is like mine, those screws are on there top. That's probably what happened. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so next I'm going to use these big wire snips to move, to remove, sorry, these hog rings that are holding this to the the frame. See this part of the frame? And then there's this wire that runs through here. There's a hog ring every so often that I'm going to just snip off with these. Do that. Okay. okay, so now that I've got frame broke free. A little easier to maneuver and maybe I didn't have to take those things out but it is a lot easier to maneuver um, so let me see if I can find a spot to jimmy my camera and I'm gonna have to get a little rough with this this phone does not want to I thought I could save it I didn't know how bad it would really be No real trick to it, it's just a simple trick. Ah, I did rip it. Well, <laughs> it's going in the garbage anyway. I don't know what the hell I care for. All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> That's what happens when you work too closely <laughs> with your camera stand. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Alright, so we're getting it. I'm just going to go ahead and rip the phone. It's going to have to be that way. And that too. There we go. Okay. Alright, so let's take a look here. I've got the frame out. Okay, there's the frame off. Okay, so, yeah, I am going to just get new foam because this, I didn't realize this was so trashed, and plus I had to rip it to get it out anyway. Um, but, just FYI, there are more hog rings that hold, I'm sorry, I'm trying to, uh, right there, I hold the foam to the cover. Let's see, there's another one right there. So I'm just going to take these, uh, um, big uh, snips here, heavy duty wire snips, and just take those hog rings out. Okay, so just for fun, I'm curious, even though I'm just going to throw all this away, I am curious to separate these two. And um, I did the hog rings, <laughs> I got them from underneath, but um, it's much easier just to uh, get to them from up here. Let me just do what where the camera can see. Um, right here. Yeah, the camera can see that. There we go. So that one's snipped. Get him out of there. I'll just cut it 
There we go. All right. All right. With all the hog rings snipped out, I'm able to get these two off and then take uh, the cushion off of the actual cover. All right. Okay. So now there's that up. Yeah, there's the old padding. I'm definitely just going to buy new. And then there's the old cover. Um, yeah, that's too far gone. Plus, I ripped it apart when I was taking it. Uh, I actually didn't mean to rip that off, but it just happened organically. So that's just the way it is, I guess. All right. Now for the actual bottom part of the seat. Okay. So now I'm going to start this bottom side. But before I get to it, just everybody calm down. Don't get too excited yet because I almost forgot about this. There is a, it's a hard plastic, it's a type of washer that goes here to stop your seat from getting ripped where that's bolted down nice and taut. So don't overlook this. We're going to save that because it's got to go back in there. I'll clean it up first, but all right. All right. So while I got the seat in this position, I'm going to take these out. This is what the top part rests against. Um, I showed earlier. So anyway, I'm going to let's get a view of it. I'm going to take those two out. Okay, so I think this is worth noting. When you take that out, this is what it looks like. There's two washers. One is metal and this other one is like this hard plastic and nylon probably that sits down in here and again protects your cover from getting ripped. Um, if you didn't have this, I would imagine just this washer on there, eventually that would rip. This plastic piece uh, will help prevent that cover from getting ripped. So, all right. Okay, so I want to show these clips that hold the um the cover to the frame like an s clip pry that off and i'll show you sorry i'm doing this looking through my camera and i'm not having a whole lot of luck there okay so I want to show you this clip. All right. Okay, so there it is. This S clip. The biggest part holds down your cover and then the smallest smaller part clips onto your frame. I'm sorry for the shaky camera, bear with me. But I can't bring my stand and show this, so that's how it goes. Okay, so we'll do it there just like that oops so um anyway it sits on the frame like this like this there like that and then the bigger part grabs the cover all right so i'm just going to go around and take all those off see there's another one and uh they're all around here so i'm going to take all those off Okay, I don't mean to overdo it about these clamps, but there's a good example. That sits on the frame, and then this goes down in there. Okay, and so I've just about got them all out. So, okay, so just like the top part, this bottom has um, hog rings that are tying everything together. But I want to get, there's three bars in here that I want to get out. There's a long one, this one, and this one, and... Uh, like I said, they're all held together with hog rings. And let me see, see that one right there. Okay, uh, I'll try to do this looking through the camera. There, I snapped it. Now I'm gonna grab it. Just 
pull it out. And I'm sorry, I'm not uh, doing the world's greatest job. Oh, that's probably uh, latched around the, uh, uh, it's also latched around the, uh, uh, the other side of that, like down there where it's, so, okay. So let me just get all those hog rings busted free. Okay, so now that I've got all those hog rings out, I'm free to get these wires out. Uh, let me put my camera back on the stand. Okay. That. I'm just getting, there's uh, three of them that I'm getting out. One, two, and three. Okay, so now I've got all the hungry hog rings and the bars out. So it's broke free from the frame. So I think I should be able to start uh, taking this off here. I think so. All right. Let's see if we can get this off of here. The frame. Oh, it spiked me, but I'm getting it. There we go. There we go. Okay. I just gotta working it it's not gonna let go but it will there all right okay so here's the old bottom and uh sorry i'm doing this looking through my camera uh, you can see ugh, that foam is just Hope the camera can see this but um yeah there it is there's the the hog rings that were coming through that coming through there just just for reference uh before i just throw this off to the side that's how those hog rings and those grab we're grabbing these these bars here sorry i'm looking through my camera okay all right so just real quick here's a look at the two main pieces of the a frame of, of the seat here's the upper right here and then this is the bottom part and um I, yeah i didn't realize this was rusted out so bad my god um i'm going to just hit this with uh, a little bit of a wire brush or maybe even just a little bit of a grinder or something just just take that little bit of rust off and then i'm going to spray it with Rust-Oleum or something. Um, I'm not going to film that, but you get the idea. So this is just part one of taking the seat apart. Um, I'm going to be making part two where I reassemble everything. And I'm sorry to do it in two two parts, but it's, it's too much. And I wanted to get detailed. Uh, um, I watched a video on how to do this and they, they made it quick and skipped over too many parts, so and I'm sorry to make it so long, but part one is just taking this all apart. And then part two, I'm going to be putting it all back together uh, with the new stuff and uh, basically making it a new seat. Super pumped, so hang with me, that'll be coming soon.